of Varnell Hill. Did you miss me? I missed y'all. And today, I'm gonna be making lemon bars. I know you saw that thumbnail, you saw lemon bars. You're like, oh, I wanna know how to make this. Let me tell you how excited I am to make this for you guys. I went to the dentist this morning and got two wisdom teeth pulled. So, but I'm pushing through because I wanted to make this content for y'all and I love y'all so much and I miss y'all. So, and today is my birthday and I am 42 years young. So, hey, this is the best way to celebrate. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do some prep work first. So to make these lemon bars lemony and good, I like to infuse my sugar with lemon zest. So I have my, um, this is an optional step, but I have my food processor here. I have three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar. I have my lemon zest here. I have the lemon zest of two lemons. Like I said, this is an optional step, but it adds that flavor. And I have some lemon extract. I'm going to put like a little, I'd say this is about a teaspoon of lemon extract in there. And we're just gonna pulse it. We're gonna let all the flavors infuse. Decadent crust. Um, it's a shortbread cookie. It, essentially, it's a shortbread cookie. Um, what I have done is I sprayed an eight by eight pan, a small little brownie pan with Baker's Joy, or you can line it with your parchment paper. I'm doing the cheap way. Look, I ain't got time. I sprayed it. We're gonna be good. So we're gonna use our handy dandy food processor. If you don't have one, you can use a fork. You just have to use a little bit of elbow grease. I have one cup of all-purpose flour. I have a half a cup of powdered sugar, half a cup. I'm just gonna put like a quarter teaspoon of salt. I can eyeball it, a quarter teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna have cold butter. So I'm gonna use one stick of cold butter. Depending on the humidity, um, if you're in a drier climate, you might need to add probably two more tablespoons of butter. And if it's humid, you'll have the moisture, so you won't need as much. You'll just need the one stick of butter. But here we go, I'm gonna put this stick of butter in there. I've cubed it up already. Got the stick of butter. I do have a little extra because um, even though I'm in Louisiana and we have humidity right now, it's been dry the past few days. So I may need to add a tablespoon of butter. We'll find out in a second. So let's post this. I 
together. Even though better make, butter makes it better, it's coming together, it's coming together. Let me just add a little bit more butter. It ain't gonna hurt nobody. I wish I could eat this, but you know, I'm going to the dentist, got my lips and teeth full. So I'm going to give this to my friends. They all enjoy it. simple recipe and this is a crowd pleaser all my friends they request this all the time they're like can you make lemon bars can you make us some lemon bars can you make lemon bars i'm like i can make something else i can make cookies i can make other things you know y'all saw i made sugar grits the other day but hey we're gonna pour you know pack this in here i'm gonna make like a little uh crust that's what we're making Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And we're gonna bake this into this golden brown. Some people like it a little soft. I want it golden brown. Some people prefer it crispier. Um, I like in the middle, like not too crispy, but not too soft, right? And I want it to be golden brown. Golden brown. <laughs> and so we're just making sure it goes from edge to edge. This is what it looks like. We're gonna get a fork. We're gonna poke holes so it doesn't bubble up in the oven, all right? We wanna make sure all the edges are coming together. And while this is baking, we're gonna make our filling. So while this is baking in the oven, we're gonna make our filling. It should bake about 15 minutes, depending on your oven, 15 to 20. And then just depending on how you want your lemon bars your crust. If you want it a little more darker, about 20 minutes. Poking holes, make sure that's gonna be nice, light, and fluffy. So that is our crust. Like I said, I'm going to go in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes at 350. Okay, so this is the easiest part of the whole recipe, the filling. The filling is easy as one, two, three. So first thing, I got a big bowl here. We're gonna use that sugar, that infused sugar. But like I said, it's optional. You don't have to infuse your sugar, but I like to layer my flavors. So my infused sugar, that's with the lemon zest and the lemon extract that I pulsated in the food processor. We're gonna add two large eggs to this mix. Two large eggs. I'm just gonna combine the two. The eggs is what gives it that nice bright yellow color. But two large eggs. Oh, and I smell the crust in the oven. Oh my God. <laughs> We're gonna add lemon juice. So this is the juice of two lemons. I'm just gonna eyeball it. I may not need all of my juice, but you yeah, know, I like mine's lemony, right? Not everybody likes a lot of lemon, I do. All right, so a little bit more juice. And this is from Fresh Lemons, I squeeze. This is the juice. And you know what, you can adapt the flavor. If you have key limes, use key limes. If you have regular limes, use limes. You know, orange, use oranges, you know? All right. Gonna whisk that, and then I have two tablespoons of flour. I'm just gonna whisk that in, right? It's gonna thicken our filling. You want it to be a thick filling. Get that all incorporated. All right. Get that all in there. Some all-purpose flour, two tablespoons. And make sure it's well incorporated. Make sure everything is mixed in there. All right, a little, the last little bit of the flour. 
All right. I think I want to add a little bit more juice. Just a little. And I might add a little dab of lemon extract. Just a little dab. Right, this is probably like a quarter teaspoon of lemon extract. Like I said, I love the lemon flavor. Mm. And so I'm gonna let this sit for like five minutes. And then once we take the crust out of the oven, we're gonna pour this on that crust. So, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Look, oh my gosh. Beautiful feeling, beautiful. All right, we'll be back in a moment with our crust and final step. Hey, you guys. So our crust is out of the oven. I need you guys to see this. It's nice and warm. Look at that. It's nice and brown. Woo! So now we're gonna pour this filling on this warm crust. Look how the filling has like that nice white layer on top. We're going to, woo wait. Pour this on our crust. Get all of that filling. And then those holes, look. You know how we poke holes in there? It's gonna seep through those holes. This is gonna be so decadent when I tell you. Make sure it's spread it on there evenly. We're gonna bake this for about 15 minutes. We're gonna have like a white crust on top that's gonna form. So you're gonna, you know, let it bake until that white crust forms or until it browns on top. And then we're gonna let it cool. And then our final steps will be dusting it with powdered sugar. And that's optional, but it gives it a little razzmatazz. So we're just gonna let this come together. Let this bake for about 15, 20 minutes. And then we're gonna let it cool and come back and dust it with our powdered sugar. And then we can try it out and enjoy it. Okay, you guys, I am back. The lemon bars are out of the oven. I have my beautiful friend Shauna here to taste test because you know I can't eat nothing because I got my wisdom teeth full. But my um, lemon bars have cooled for about 30 minutes. Um, I try to cut them in little squares, but hey, whatever. This is how they look. I'm gonna do a light dusting of powdered sugar. We got our powdered sugar here. Just a light dusting. Mmm. Thank you, Brian. Ooh, hey. Like this thing. Ooh, it looks so beautiful. It looks like a winter wonderland. Oh, just put it under the thing. Yes. So I'm gonna put this here. This is how they look. I'm going to cut a piece out, a nice corner piece. I like the corner piece. Yes. See, it has the crunch like my friend likes. There we go. Give it a try. I just use the fingers. Use the fingers, girl. Mmm, so good. And buttery. Because <laughs> remember, y'all, remember I added that extra tablespoon of butter, right? Remember I did that, y'all, so she can taste it. Nice and good. So, if you want a quick, dessert that will please the crowd that will feed a lot of people because you can cut them as small as you want lemon bars are the ticket and remember i said you can use any citrus fruit that you want lemon key limes limes oranges i don't know about grapefruit but give it a try you know the world is your oyster play with flavors there's nothing wrong with trying something new i thank you guys and i'll see you guys next week for another episode of robin's kitchen bye